The next step is to write a letter of query to the editor of your intended journal. Now this has pros and cons or advantages and disadvantages. One of the advantages of writing a letter to the editor asking if they're interested in your topic is that if that journal really does not have an interest, you'll know right from the start. You'll know not to even send to that journal. You'll find a different journal right from the beginning and follow a different journal's guidelines. Through a letter of query, the editor may be able to tell you, gee, you have a great topic. I love your topic, but unfortunately, I have a paper so similar to that that's at the printing press right now. So although your paper's wonderful, I'm not ready for a second paper that's so similar anytime soon. So you would know. The disadvantage to the letter of query is many journal editors are way too busy to answer your letter, your email. They may simply write back and say, just send me your paper. I can't help you. I can't give you any guidance at this point. Where I know other journal editors would prefer to work with you from the start, help you shape your topic. They'd like to look at your outline. They'd like to guide you before you write. So it is a risk in some ways to write a letter of query. At some times it will help you. Other times you may not even get a response at all from an editor. Even if you don't get a response, you can still send your paper to that journal. It just means that editor is overwhelmed and can't take the time to answer your query. But if you do send a letter of query to the editor, do it by email. Don't send it by U.S. mail. Do it by email so that the editor can easily reply to you if they choose to do that. Now the components of a letter of query is that really should be a business style letter. It can be given as an attachment with your email, but it should be a business style, well-written letter. Because frankly, the editor's looking at your writing right from the start. I've received letters of query where there's no capitalization in the beginning of sentences, there's no punctuation, there's poor grammar, there's spelling errors. And as an editor, I'm already worried, what's it gonna look like if I get your paper, if you can't even write me a letter? in sentences. Address the letter to a person. Every journal has an editor and editor-in-chief, and the name of that person is in the front of the journal. It doesn't really warm my heart when I get letters saying, Dear Sir. So write to a person. Their name is easily accessible to you. In the letter, describe your idea, a little bit about who you are in relation to that idea. For example, you could say, I've been a nurse in the coronary care unit for five years, and I want to write an article on such and such topic. Give some context for your experience in relation to that topic. You want to provide a very concise statement about your idea, very short. Really, it's the one purpose statement of your article that you're sending to the editor that one purpose statement you thought about long ago as you were planning your paper. You might want to say why this topic is important. Why does the reader want to know about it? What's your unique slant? What are you offering in your paper that the editor may have an interest in? I would encourage you to attach your brief outline, and in that outline, also tell where you have tables and charts, and that will give the editor, if they choose, the opportunity to respond to your outline and say, eliminate this portion, elaborate that portion. It looks like your paper's too long or too short, but don't be surprised if you don't get a lot of feedback from the editor. Some are just too busy. And then you close the article saying, would you be interested in receiving a paper on this topic? You're never asking the editor to commit to accepting your paper, you're simply asking them, are they interested in your topic? Be sure to provide a way that the editor can reach you. Obviously, they could hit reply on the email, but maybe you also would be a good idea to attach a phone number if they would want to talk with you. Be sure that your email address is clear and that they have a way to contact you. I have gotten queries in the mail where there was no way to respond to the person. There was no return address, there was no phone number, no email. 
was simply a note signed by a person, no way to contact that person. And I'm sure they're frustrated they never heard from me, but they gave me no way to reach them.